I have arrived in Woodsboro, Texas. This is a community that is hurting. We got to touch some hearts and bring hope to a community that I'm sensing is feeling a little bit hopeless. We're here early, seven in the morning, and they've got a lot of staff here, so this is the start, the meet and greet, where we get to find out expectations, and uh, we're gonna have a great day, so this is the kick of it. Had a great meeting with them. Uh, heading over to the shop room. I don't really know where I'm going, but Mr. Alex wanted me to see the shop room. He travels 40 miles to work and home every day, and uh, he's been teaching for 40 years. He said, Jeff, uh, I want you to see what we do over here. What so. do you learn in shop? Uh, life skills and how to work in a workplace. Do you think if we got rid of shop in schools, how would that affect students? Uh, I think we wouldn't, we, would, we wouldn't learn basic life skills in, in school, like how to work, how to have responsibilities in the shop, take care of your projects. The best thing about the shop is we have an opportunity to present to these kids all the jobs and careers there's out there in construction. And you know what a good shop teacher looks like? Got all his fingers, okay? School just barely started and they're already in the work. I love it. Tell me why welding is important for kids today and in school. Well, uh, one, it teaches them skills they can get, make a good living at later on in life. And two, it also for a hobby. They just want to do it in their backyard. Uh, also, it's going to pay another welder to come do something for them. They can do it themselves. <laughs> That's awesome. Not just the men. Look at this. Young lady, what's your name? Erica. Erica, what are you doing? Torching to make a barbecue grill. Wow. Did you ever think you'd want to take welding? What do you like about it? It gives us a good opportunity in life. Woo! She made that rope. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Josie. Josie? How did you do it? Uh, well, he cuts out these three pieces. You put it together. And then you got to bend them to make the petals look like roses. And then add the base and the leaves and paint it. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. That's pretty impressive. I think we're going to have a good day here today. Woodsboro, Texas. 30 years and 20 at this school. Plus I graduated to the school too. Has anybody told you this morning, Jeff? I love you. Have a great blessed day. Mr. Alex, I love you too. Thank you. And, uh, so this community has been hit real hard down by Rockport, Texas here. They got the backlash, the back end of the hurricane tornado came through. There was a big train derailment. Uh, so many of the teachers have been misplaced as well as the kids. And so morale is down. The guidance counselor has been um, dismissed and the secretary. So everything is falling on the principal right now. And uh, so there's a lot of stress. Is not right and, in your life. Uh, People I having think a tough time. The best time. place for us so, to go is right to the mirror right I'm gonna away. Take a minute and, and look at yourself and get present first. And uh, I'm going to have a great day, man. It's okay to be yourself. All right. There's a lot going on here. A lot of these kids um, Who's struggling. The hardest person to get a lot to of them. the teachers and staff are struggling. I mean, they've been hit with the tornado, they've been hit with the hurricane, the big train derailment. A lot of the staff here have been. Um, displaced uh, kids that, have been displaced kids have to leave because they don't know where to go until you start to so make changes it's in a lot of pain and so and today was about uh, to you know mental health taking care of yourself um giving hope inspiration uh i was very hard on the message that you're not a victim you know, let's uh tomorrow it's a new us we're a victor i know some of us like and Jeff, that, we don't um, understand what we're you know, we, we all have we excuses over. but your why has to I be greater to I, than any excuse that down. you can make i'm going to tell you some things you don't want to hear amazing amazing ladies and gentlemen you are not a victim amazing. i unloaded today unloaded i gave them a good talk it was great they were absolutely amazing my life from 15 to 24 years old was a wreck and I have no one to blame it on. But when I was young, my friends were stupid. We'd get in like a little bubblegum fight, and I'd go to my other friends and be like, yeah, they, they talk about you too. <laughs> you, you shouldn't like them, you're stupid. They're drama. They do drugs. 
pick their nose. <laughs> Teachers were stupid too. <laughs> I remember I'd come home and my parents would like, they'd look at my report card and be like, Honey, I thought you were doing better in math. And I'm like, Mom, you don't understand. <laughs> Mom, she, my teacher shouldn't be teaching. She's like stupid. <laughs> no, Mom, I'm like, I just finished Spanish. I'm in math. I feel like Spanish came with me. It's like foreign. <laughs> and it was, I always blamed on the teacher, but I never stopped to think, well, you know what? I, I don't show up on time. I, I don't do my homework. I'm not prepared. It was always that. Tell you what, here's your responsibility. You wake up, you get up, you dress up, and you show up. That's half your success. So uh, we just wrapped up with the high school. It's now 12 noon. We did two full assemblies, about almost an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes with each group. The kids were amazing. What a pleasure. And so now there's about probably 15 kids that signed up that want to talk and um, these are gonna be some pretty intense conversations they're on the radar but uh, we do need to connect with them and it's hard because we get frustrated because we want to fix it but I don't think it's something that we can fix I think this is about time mm -hmm. patience and I think the more comfortable you can get spending talking about your feelings and and they can learn to just listen and support your emotions I think it's gonna make her feel a lot better so a lot of my message today wasn't so much about mental health as it was about hey okay you're not a victim you know attitude shift is we have to look at this and say hey you know life can offer us some blows sometimes but what are you gonna do I mean are you going to allow this to define you or are you going to pick yourself up and recognize that you know everything that happens shapes us everything we go through shapes us and we can use it as motivation to pick ourselves up and do great things because you know we all have a story you know everyone's feeling emotion everyone's feeling pain and as we're getting ready to wrap up the school year a lot of people are struggling but we can't end on that kind of note we got to stay strong, we got to stay together, we got to work together, support each other, encourage each other, and, and I'll tell you what, teachers, students, we're all in this together. Boom! Woodsboro, Texas, the greatest students in the country, we got some work to do. Mm, just can't get into all the details, but it's hard in one session to inspire and give these kids hope. Some of these kids come to school every day with incredible baggage. They need trusted adults that understand they are kids. We all have a story and we all grow, we all learn. But ain't nothing should ever define you. Now let's go, we got some more kids to talk to. Yeah, you're really great. Um, today was really fun. You're inspirational. I like your tats. Um, um, you made me laugh a lot. I never liked that. Be a stand-up comedian. Dating. Right? We oh, are we, dating. We broke up. Oh, we no, broke we up. broke up because we are dating. But much. you're our best friend. Yes. No, she doesn't talk to you anymore. No, yeah, don't you don't talk to me anymore? anymore? Because I broke up with you for a reason. But I, <laughs> What's that reason? We argue too much. You had anger issues. Yeah, anger issues too. <laughs> I had anger issues? <laughs> I love my duck face. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> I love my duck face. Your duck face sucks. Okay. Any smile for you? <laughs> no, Phil, do more work on you. I think it says you're bald. Elizabeth. Here, let's get in better lighting. This way. Mm -hmm. I liked it. What do you think? How do you think you should handle this? Let me let me tell you something. See, when you text a teacher at night, I'll tell you what I would tell her. If you send her a text at night, her first responsibility should be call. She can't get hold of. I'd call the police in a heartbeat because 
and please understand, I want to be very sensitive about this. And no, she's taking the call because she loves you and cares about you. But think of that emotional stress you're putting her under because now when she goes to bed, she's thinking, oh my God, is she going to be okay? And so when she says, go talk to she's trusting in you that you're going to do the right thing. I knew this was a school that was struggling when I came in. I love when I spoke to the administration first thing and they're like, you know, Jeff, it's not about me. It's about my staff and my kids. I love when I met the staff this morning and I'm like, you know, it was the meet and greet. And after them telling me about FEMA and everything that's going on and being, you know, losing houses and losing their roofs and being misplaced and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I said, what, what gets you up in the morning? And the staff was like, the kids, the kids, it's a special place. Woodsboro Junior Senior High School, Texas, a small community that's been rocked by natural disasters, a couple other things. I had a very special day. Thanks so much, my friends. Take care. It's time to go. Thank you, Woodsboro Junior Senior High School. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Take care.